Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a bit of a, of a question, a bit, a bit of a statement that I thought I would do a video on to answer this so that I could answer it for everyone who has a similar question in life about discipline. This is one of those popular topics here at Simple Programmer that I talk about a lot because a lot of people want to improve their discipline or their mental toughness. You can check out some of the videos that I have on that if you want to hear, but today I'm gonna to be talking about discipline. Hey, I just want to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors at Simple Programmer, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out. You can see the link in the description below, Dev Mountain Bootcamp, and a big thank you to them for sponsoring Simple Programmer. So I got this email and I got this quote that said, uh, not sure, but this really resonated with me. Discipline is the difference between being in control of your future and letting your environment dictate your destiny. So the difference between being in control of your future and letting your environment dictate your destiny. So if you're the one steering the ship, that's discipline, according to this definition. And if you are being blown around by the wind, that's not uh, discipline in, in that case. And then the emailer goes on to say, I think because of the tendency to have a habit, say running on Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, on normal days I get up, run, no issue. But if the environment changes, i.e. I have trouble sleeping or I'm traveling, then suddenly it's, oh well, I can't do this because, and I think it's okay because after all, I'm disciplined 90% of the time and I do my routine when in reality, I'm not even exercising discipline 90% of the time because my environment is cooperating and I'm just following my routine. Perhaps it's only in the face of environmental challenges that I truly do exercise discipline, maybe 10% of the time, only the times it's difficult, what do you think? So there's a couple of things that, that I would say here. First of all, I have another video recommendation about this topic as I talked about this. I, I, t I did a video on doing things when it's hard. I, I believe I might have actually done two of these where it really only counts where it's hard. If we can find that video, hopefully we'll, we'll put it up there. But I think there's, there's, there's a couple of, of, of aspects here. So first of all, Let's talk about, at a very base level, what discipline has to essentially become. There's, there's sort of two kinds of discipline, I would say, right? There's the, the discipline, the sheer sort of willpower discipline required to do something that you don't want to do, right? I always talk about the, the definition, I think Jim Rohn's definition of, of discipline, Brandon Carter was the first time I had heard it, and he, he says that discipline is doing uh, what you're supposed to do, whether you feel like it or not. I like it when Brandon Carter says it. <laughs> but that, that makes a lot of sense, right? It, it's, it's doing what you're supposed to do, whether you feel like it or not. So there's that, that's sort of a sheer willpower type of discipline, right? It's, it requires a lot to have the moment, to get the ball rolling, to, to get momentum started. And it, we're gonna have to tie this into a conversation about habits, about habit forming and building habits. Because here's the thing, the goal is not to use your sheer willpower every single day to power through life, right? I did this video on willpower and why I don't think it's a finite resource. And I think that you can do that. I, I believe that you can, that there's, there's not a limit to your willpower, but it's not an effective use of your time or your energy energy, emotionally, physically, whatever it is, and, and it's going to be painful if you're constantly powering through life. Instead, what you need to do is you need to develop habits. And so, as the emailer said here, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. I don't think this is showing a lack of discipline. I think that this is the smart way to do things. So, there's a really good book by by a person I highly recommend, I highly respect, uh, named Tynan, and it's called Superhuman by Habit. I've, I've recommended this book several times. You can check it out here. Pretty short book, but, <clears throat> excuse me, still sick. It nails the habit thing very well. But the idea is basically this. It's, it's essentially what you need to do 
in life is you need to pick something that you're going to make into a habit. And at first, it's very difficult. It takes sheer discipline, the willpower type of discipline, the, that first type, in order to build the habit, right? So let's say that you're gonna start running, okay? It's not easy to get out there and go run, but if you start up and you and you you do it and you do it the first day and then you've got a routine and a plan and you do it the second day and the third day and, and you keep on hitting your whatever your routine is, after some period of time, it becomes routine, it becomes normal, it becomes a habit, and then the amount of willpower, the amount of effort required to sustain that, it never drops down to zero. It still requires some discipline and willpower to, to be able to do that because there's gonna be days when you don't feel like doing it or there's gonna be things that are gonna come into your way that are gonna make it more difficult for you to do, but it becomes a whole lot easier, right? The, the level of effort required to start something is very, very high and to, to get it the momentum to get it going, but once it starts rolling, uh, we'll cue the clip on, I did a video on momentum, momentum is, is critical, but once you have momentum, what ends up happening is it becomes a lot easier. Then the ball is rolling on its own. It requires minimal push from you to keep that going. Think of a flywheel, right? It, it doesn't require as much effort in energy. And so that's the goal. The goal really is for us to use our, our sheer willpower, our you know, forceful discipline to be able to get the momentum, to be able to get the things into habits, into routines where we can keep them going, right? And that's really the secret, the strategy to my own success in life is to be able to do that, to be able to pick up things, get that thing going, and then and now I'm doing it, right? There's a ton of these in my life from eating one meal a day, right? I only eat one meal a day. I fast until five o'clock every day, essentially. That took some time to get that going, but now I, I, I can maintain that with not a whole lot of discipline, right? It was hard to do it at first. It doesn't require as much discipline now. The, I, my wor workouts, my lifting, my running, I'm running about 40 miles a week, lifting three times a week, doing all those things. When I was doing my writing habit, when I was writing my new book, all kinds of things. When I was doing my Pluralsight videos, I developed them into this habit where it became route routine for me to do that and it required less discipline. It requires a lot of discipline to start that up. So this is not a bad thing. This is not letting your environment dictate your destiny, right? It's, it's purposely shaping your environment, controlling your environment in order to be able to make it easier for yourself. You know, the other thing that I, that I talk about, very, very similar, is basically we wanna reduce as many judgment calls as possible, right? If I am constantly making decisions that require willpower for me to make the right decision uh, and using my judgment and relying on my judgment in life, I am going to fail because I suck at judgment, because we all do, because we all have weaknesses, and right, and sometimes when we're feeling great and we're are as strong as ever, we make the right decisions and we make good decisions, but a majority of the time, a majority of us make bad decisions, right? When stuff goes wrong, when we're not feeling well, when we didn't get enough sleep, when the environmental conditions are not just, are just not perfectly right, we make bad decisions, so what we have to do is eliminate as many decisions as possible. That's where taking this stuff and making it into a routine and shaping your environment to influence you, to make it as simple as possible is, is strategic, it's smart. It's not showing a lack of discipline, right? The, the discipline really gets exercised, like I said, in creating the momentum and setting up the thing and then you know following it to keep, keep the ball rolling. So we wanna really structure our lives. I try to structure my life in such a way that as many things as possible, I don't have to decide, right? I'll go back to the eating one meal a day and the fasting until five o'clock. If my rule is that I fast until five o'clock and I just have that as a rule, I don't have to make decisions throughout the day if I'm gonna eat this or eat that or should I eat or should I fast, I just know it. I just know every day that is what the rule is. The same thing with workouts, the same thing with whatever that I have structured into my schedule and routine. Now, when environment happens, right, and then you have these disruptions, that's where the discipline will be exercised more, right? It, again, to talk to the original point here, is, is it's when you have this problem. If you, but it, the stronger your routine is, the stronger the habit is, the less that the environment and the disruptions will affect you, right? I will still go and run if I only had two hours of sleep because it's such an ingrained habit in, in me at this time because I do it so often because I, I have missed it so very few times that it doesn't matter. Like a, lo a lot of bad shit could happen, but it's not gonna prevent me from doing what I need to do. So that's that's one thing. If you're suffering, if you, every time 
a, any kind of curveball comes into your your way and it causes you to lose discipline or, or to not perform what you're what you know you're supposed to do there, there's there's two things you need to check one have you actually put this on autopilot have you actually built a system of rules that you're living your life by that is going to make it so that you don't have to make judgment calls or, or are you making judgment calls every time when you wake up in the morning right and you're supposed to go to the gym and the alarm clock goes off are you making a decision right then and there to go to the gym or, or have you pre-decided? Because if you're making the decision right then and there, whether you're gonna do it or not, then when the environment is working against you, when you have non-ideal conditions, you're much, much more likely to choose no or to choose wrong. And even if you choose right, it's gonna require willpower, it's gonna require strength, it's going to drain you, it's going to be hard to make that decision. But if you've pre-committed and you've said no, it doesn't matter if it's snowing outside and I have to dig my way out, I'm going to the gym, then that decision becomes easier and it requires less willpower and, and, and less discipline. The, the other circumstance I would say is if you're constantly screwing this up, right, and you've got the momentum, is that then it is a sheer discipline problem, right? If every little curveball can in your environment can cause you to disrupt your, your pattern, can cause you to disrupt the habits that you've been forming and what you want to do with your life, then you need to buckle down and you need to get discipline. You need to get some grit. You need to be able to endure some pain and to, and to be able to, to grow from that. I think I have a video for you that, that you might like about either not letting yourself off the hook, that would probably apply to you. Next, <laughs> to address this fully here. So the, the other thing I would say uh, with this whole thing is that uh, it, you know, we talked about the routines, we talked about the, the, the base level of discipline and, and whether or not this is smart, is, is that, you know, you have to set up and control your environment as much as possible, right? Being the, discipline being the difference between being in control of your future and letting your environment dictate your de destiny, right? To get to the, the main main point of this is is that you you ultimately get to decide for uh, uh, to a large degree what your environment is. So this is again, this is setting up the rules. This is is choosing those things to, that that are going to be in your life. It's 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 the stocking your fridge with what you want to eat. It's getting rid of the stuff. It's getting rid of the temptation. It's living your life in such a way and, and controlling your environment. The people you hang around with, what you do, what's around you, what you listen to, all of those things that make it so that you are able to shape and control your destiny. Because we're all going to always going to be influenced by our environment. We're all always going to have temptation. We're always going to be weak. We're never going to be as strong as we want to be, but we, we can shape and control our environment. So it's really a combination of, of the two things, right? The, the person that is going to appear to have the most discipline may not be the person who ultimately has the most grit and can endure the most pain. It may be the person who's more strategic with their life and sets up their life so that they can't fail, right? That's, that's a, it's a smarter strategy because you know that, that you're going to have problems right or or the person who knows how to get up after they fail after because you know you're going to fail you're not always going to be perfect if you can get up and rise again and then and pick up where you left off and not blow everything right it, the, the biggest problem that people have I, I think that that lack discipline is that when they screw up they don't turn around right they know they're going the wrong direction there's an old Turkish proverb that says when you it's the moment you know you're going the wrong direction turn around right and that's so critical they're, the people that have discipline are the ones that they it's not that they don't screw up it's not that they don't mess up it's that their screw ups and their mess ups are so small because as soon as they catch that they're doing the wrong thing they're able to turn around and and go back the other direction. So this is a good question. I think this is, it's an interesting definition of discipline. Like I said, I do prefer the, the Jim Rohn definition. I believe it's Jim Rohn where he says that discipline is the ability to, or is, is doing what you're supposed to do, whether you feel like it or not. I think that's, that's a, but this definition of discipline is the difference between being in control of your future and letting your environment dictate your, des your destiny is, is also very true. Are you going to be the one who's steering the ship right and and how you do that again strategically we, we don't want to just brute force this we want to say hey how can i control the ship well <laughs> if i can control the wind to some degree if i can control where i put the sail and what direction i point the sail and i can move the rudder because i have control over those things i can sort of and where i'm sh sailing the ship 
I can control the environment to some degree as much as I can that's going to make it easier for me so I don't have to use sheer force to steer that ship and to, to control my destiny. I, I, I'm strategically applying my strength and my discipline. That, that makes a lot more sense. You guys still have the raw power. You still got to have the ability to resist, to be able to push on, to have what I would call grit, but you've, you've got to be strategic as well. And when you combine those things together, you're, you're magnifying that strength, whatever discipline that you have. You don't need nearly as much of it to be successful. And at least that, that's what I have found, okay? I, I have not found, every time that I've tried to just sheer willpower my way through things without setting up routines and, and systems and processes, I, I end up ultimately failing because I, it's, it's so emotionally driven. It's so much based on how do I feel that day, whereas you got to be able to take that, that those variables out Otherwise, it, it will take you down eventually because you're not always going to be in the right mindset. I hope this is helpful to you. If it is and you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.